Hello everyone, welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, I'm going to try to get a, a quick little video done here. Let's see, it is almost 8.40. I got about 20, uh, I got about 25 minutes till I need to um, go get a shower for work. Um, I work tonight. And I said I was going to release a video this weekend, so uh, I have about ran out of time. Uh, you know, I've been real busy trying to get stuff done. Uh, matter of fact, I can turn around and you can see all the pups I got laid to the side. Old sprues just laying everywhere. Um, so instead of adding to more pups, I, I decided to... Um, I picked out a color I had up there that was a lime truce and... Uh, uh, I took the sprues off of um, I took the sprues off of a uh, a bluegill flash. Um, let me show you the color bait. This is bluegill flash. There's swim baits, and then there's the jointed jerks. Uh, I made them earlier. Um, anyway, I've been pretty busy the last few days. Let's see. Well, I got some I got some lizards, some. Uh, swim baits, jerk baits, of course, some of those uh, ring worms, more ring worms. Um, got some H crawl, some more jerk baits and swim baits down there. A uh, bunch of ecto crawls. Let's see. You can see that color right there. Great color. Now, I actually done some mud bug in, um, in the ecto crawl, which turned out really good um i like that i was curious how they would look in it and i honestly like it and then of course you got the old root beer crawl um that color right there really works uh works good um anyway <clears throat> i am i am doing a uh, a quick little video i say quick usually my quick videos still end up being very long so this one, since I got to hurry up and go to work, this one will be a little bit quicker than uh, a lot of my other ones. Um, I'm showing you the, well, we still got a couple minutes while that's going, so. Um, this is, like I said, I've got some made over there. Um, angle this. This is the new 7-inch uh, uh, from Bass Tackle. It's their... Uh, uh, ringworm you know I have the four and a half this is their seven inch version uh, a pretty good size bait I mean and you can see right there it's a pretty good size bait uh, it it actually uh, is right at a half ounce when you make it so it's a it's a stout little worm they only offer it in a two cavity um, that's the only downfall they only offer that bait in a two cavity so I end up to begin with, I only bought I bought two molds, and um, I bought two of that ringworm to see how I liked it. And as soon as I got it, I shot it a couple times. I think it'll be a great bait, so I bought uh, I just ordered some more of those. So I got two more coming where I can shoot eight at a time. Um, and I'll, I'll get in on some other stuff I ordered in just a second. This is the small jointed jerk bait, just like my bigger five and a quarter. This is a three and a half. Uh, makes a a pretty cool little bait um, personally for myself I'm going to use that uh, that bait I'm going to use that for more of my uh, trailer for like a, uh, a chatter bait because of that joint you know it's, I figured that would uh, make a pretty good trailer for that so that's what I'm going to use it for personally um, anyway I got rid of uh, if you can look up here uh, you can see I've got rid of a lot of molds. I've got more molds over there that I'm sending out. Uh, I've sold a few other molds over uh, over the last few days. I'm trying to get rid of stuff that I really ain't using and replacing it with uh, with stuff that I, I actually use. So let me sit this right here while I while I check this plastic. See. Uh, because I'll probably add some black or something to this one. Um, 
to darken it up a little bit. Let's stir that. And this is that lime truce color. But get that finish. Looks like I'm gonna have to put it in the vacuum chamber when it's done. Gonna have a bunch of air bubbles. Let's see, 144. All right, let's get back to it. Um. Anyway, I got rid of a. Uh, I got rid of a, quite a few molds. Uh, well, you know, I have a. I have my. It's from Bass Tackle. I have my big ribbon tail. Uh, which is their seven inch I think and with it hanging it's like over nine inches you know it's around nine and a half somewhere in there when it's hanging um, I actually got rid of another worm mold I had that I really didn't I really didn't sell I love I now don't get me wrong I like the worm I still have some for myself that I made but uh, I didn't sell too many of them so I decided to uh, get rid of those two molds and get a uh get the smaller version of the uh of the ribbon tail which is they call it their seven but te uh they call it their five i think but it's technically about seven inches or so so i got two of those coming um i did order like i gotta say two more of these ring worms from bass tackle i ordered uh uh let's see what else did i get from bts i ordered uh uh, some lizard molds from them a little bit shorter I have a seven and three quarter inch lizard mold from uh, from Bass Tackle I did order one from BTS that's a six inch well I say one I ordered four molds uh, from them and let's see what else did I get rid of I got rid of um, I sold the atomic toads I very seldom ever used them it's I like the toad. They was kind of uh, a little bit bulky for what I like. So uh, let's check. Yeah. So I got rid of those, and I'm looking at a couple of other frogs. I ain't, I ain't decided yet if I want to, because I really don't sell too many frogs. I use them sometimes, but I don't sell that many of them. But anyway, so I'm trying to decide what uh what style of frog I want to go with if I go with another one. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah, I got rid of the. Uh, I did get rid of my. Um, I know I'm making you dizzy. Uh, I did get rid of my uh, my dead on crawl. Uh, I sold them once in a while. Uh, I really didn't sell them too often. Uh, but I got rid of those too. I mean, I didn't need that many crawls. Um, I got rid of that one, and I also got rid of. And I wasn't advertising it, but. Uh, I did go ahead and get rid of the uh the the uh they call it the phantom on their website but the menace uh style little crawl grubs i had three of those molds i got rid of them um and i might go with a different style uh later on if i decide to um but and i did get a a couple of other uh other molds that I really don't want to announce yet until they come in. Um, it's a crawl style bait, but that might look good. But you know, I want to see how it's going to look before I announce it, because honestly, I'm, I might let it take the place of. Uh, well, it won't necessarily take the place of the the phantom style crawl grub, but I probably won't worry about getting another uh, phantom style mold uh because i really think that i mean don't get me wrong i sold the crap out of them that's why i had three of those molds because when i first started selling baits um i ended up having to get three of those molds because i sold so many of that phantom grub that i just i couldn't keep up with it with just you know i started out with just one of those molds six cavity and I could not keep up with it. I sold so many. And uh, so I ended up getting three of those molds just to be able to, just to be able to keep up with orders. And uh, you know, I sold a ton of them, but here lately I really ain't sold that many of them. I mean, um, now I could probably make, 
you know some and sell them i mean they always sell when i make them and throw them on like a uh like a, a facebook auction but you know i just i really didn't make it too much because i got other ones that i sell a lot more of so i just and somebody sent me a message asked me if i wanted to get rid of them and sure i went ahead and sold them i mean like i say i got a long-term plan i'm trying to only have molds of uh like certain ones that i really sell a decent amount of and basically just get it to where and i had it where i offered i got up to where i had about 30 different baits i could offer uh, I'm trying to keep it where I only offer about, as far as selling wise, about 16, maybe 18 max, but somewhere in there, 16 to 18 baits, and uh, just that's plenty. But I want to have more of the same mold, you know. So eventually, I will. I know it's expensive, but eventually, I'll have more of the same molds, you know. So. Instead of some of these where I only shoot eight, eventually I want to have where I can shoot at least 16 each time. You know, it, it costs it costs a lot up front, but if you're gonna if you're gonna do it that way, you're better off to where you can, um, you know, it, in the long run, it's you're a lot better off just go ahead and, and knock it out in less time. Like right now, you know, when I get these orders where I gotta do two three hundred sometimes four or five hundred baits um sometimes man it might take me i just several hours because i can only shoot you know eight i get it where i can shoot you know 16 or more then i can cut my time in half you know so in the long run it'll pay for itself um uh, especially after you know i'm i'm uh, on the list for the shooting star so I know a lot of you know that I've uh, I've announced it before. So uh, once I get the uh, shooting star, I'm gonna eventually just try to cut out some of the stuff I do now. Uh, I make most of my money now on like custom orders, you know, like color matching and stuff like that. So uh, eventually, I'll probably get out of. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll still offer it to to a certain extent, but. Eventually, I'll try to get out of uh, a lot of that color matching. I only offer, you know, my certain colors. Um, and who knows? It might not work out the way I have planned. If it don't, then oh well. I'll continue. I'll continue to do it the way I'm, you know, been doing it. But all right, they're close enough for this video. It's it's not perfect, so we might end up with a little bit of swirl effect. Um, I like to have them a little bit. A little bit closer there they're winning about seven uh, the temperatures let me see if I can get you angled over here a little better all right let me show you the color real quick you got the lime truce and then you got this right here which was a uh, was the spruce for the bluegill flash that I actually just I pretty much just put some black in it and darkened it up but um anyway we'll see how this this looks i'm actually going to shoot the jerk bait first it might not look any good but we'll see how it turns out uh, i'm not sure about that color in neither one of these molds <laughs> but i uh, just i didn't want to you know mix up a bunch of fresh plastic when i already have so much sitting to the side and the, i wish they would make a uh i wish they would make you know like a four cavity or or something like that in that ringworm instead of a two cavity but i can understand why they do it um these ringworm molds they do not hold much plastic at all uh well i say that they they still hold a decent amount of plastic each worm is about a half ounce but it's only two cavities so it ain't gonna hold near as much as your other baits with you know multi cavities it's tricky watching the uh camera lens and and trying to keep everything lined up all right we will put this in here and 
And while that's sitting, I'll, uh, I'll give you some updates on some other stuff. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and bump that on. With it. But, uh, anyway, um, an update on the, on the triple injector. I got it sitting to the side for now. Uh, if you watch my review video, you know, I mentioned how the, uh, how the rods was kind of short and, um, you know, it, 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 uh, it really didn't give you the proper room you needed to clean behind the o-range you know the, on the little plunger uh well actually marty he had uh watched that video and he had sent me a message um saying when he saw it he realized that i guess his guys they had put the wrong you know rods on them rods are too short um so instead of me having to modify it like i like you say if you watch that other video you see where i was talking about uh making it where i could at least get it you know to where i could clean the back of the plungers uh, anyway he said he's gonna send me a uh a new um uh, a new set of those um rods so i don't have to modify it so um that's a plus i mean i i really do appreciate that i mean I'm glad he reached out to me about that before because I actually already got me a piece of uh, piece of aluminum and had it out there in the uh, other shop ready to cut it and make that piece for it and then he like I say he sent me a message saying that they sent the wrong piece which you know I'm glad he said that but uh, anyway uh, and it, I've used it several times. The injector, actually, you know, I've had a few people message me, ask me if it was worth the wait. Um, you know, and I've had mixed feelings about it because it did take so long to get it. But at the same time, I mean, it it does what it's designed to do. It makes a it makes a good uh, a triple laminate. Uh, it's a little heavier, you know. Yeah, it's a little heavier, but I mean. It is what it is. It works and it performs like it's supposed to. Uh, so, with that being said, it's one of those things. It's all on you, you know. If and who knows, mine might have just took too long because he said uh, he also told me that he did originally ship it when he told me he shipped it. Now I don't know, you know what I mean. That's just going word of mouth, but he did tell me that. Uh, he had shipped it the the first time around like february the 2nd but fedex lost it and you know i'm like i said i don't i really don't know i'm just going by what he said he says they lost it and they had to re that's why it took so long but you know it is what it is it still took a long damn time and even if it was february 2nd that's still over 40 something hell almost 50 days so anyway um no that's over 60 days but anyway long story short i'm satisfied with it but it was a long wait i still gotta wait for the new rod so i'm still not really using it but they are making that right so uh you know i i gotta give him the shout out for that he contacted me about that uh wanting to fix it so uh kudos to him okay this is the ream worm. We'll see how it looks in this color. I am not sold on it yet, but that's one side. Oh man, that I like how it looks when it comes out. I actually like that. I would uh personally I'll fish with that. But uh I think that would be I think that would be good in a swirl effect. I might have to try it in that bait. But uh And I'll show you some of the other ones uh, I've done where you get a better idea of what you But. But, you can see the laminate. It's got real, see if you can see down there. You know, it's got real big rings on it. It's just like the four and a half, but it's a lot bigger rings. You know, I mean, that's a, when you look at it next to my finger, I mean, that's a, uh, it's a healthy little worm you know but uh hell i like it 
I might not um I might not shoot another run of these. That's just when they come out like that where you can show the back side. I mean I like that. It's not very often that uh that when you open it up it lays perfect on one side because that there would definitely uh you know be a good thumbnail. I doubt I'll use that for a thumbnail but pull that up. But here's the here's the little jerk bait. I mean it's like I say it's it's only three and a half. It's a lot smaller than the than the other. Let's see. Yeah I got one. I mean, when you compare them size-wise, I mean, that's a that's a big a big size difference. But I mean, up there, it's just my opinion. I think because of how a chatterbait works back and forth, I think that'd be damn jam up on a little chatterbait. But anyway, pop them all. And these, I've only made uh, one run of these just trying it out when the mold first came in but uh like those in a a um i say a shad color or something like that i think would be uh i think it would be pretty awesome you know like in a uh a cool shad color or something you know i, I actually want to try I actually want to try that uh that ring worm in the swirl hell just for video purposes it don't matter i'll swirl the uh the damn jerk bait and see what happens it probably won't because it's such a small bait i don't know how to i don't know how it'll look but but we'll try it and we'll see the temperature is about a 10 degree difference that actually might angle this around uh 10 degree difference might actually work you know with the swirl it might probably won't even affect the swirl usually i like it to be closer but for the swirl purpose it probably won't affect it and it might not do anything but just make a glob you know some baits really swirl nicely and some don't right. um i don't know if that filled up proper or not it felt tight at first and then it loosened up so uh, um for example the probably the best mold in my opinion that i've came across for swirling is going to be that uh ecto crawl um it it just it swirls so uh so good the ecto crawl pretty much is a uh i mean it's a perfect all-around crawl as far as your um uh, swirling now laminating wise it laminates great the h crawl is probably um uh, with the crawl bait h crawl is probably the king of uh of regular laminating i mean it it laminates like a dream um oh i gotta hurry up time is time is running away usually by now i'm in right about now i'm usually in the shower see we're at 24 minutes already turn that on we're at 24 minutes already so i'm gonna make this quick as soon as them are out i'm gonna end this video and hopefully it'll, it'll satisfy you for a little bit uh i really wanted to make a better video i had full intentions earlier on uh on on making a uh a good video but i just got time you know time got me i, I had uh baits to make and stuff to get done and by the time i got done with uh with that stuff you know the wife she had got home i went and hung out with her ate some supper with her real quick and i ran right back out here to uh to try to get this done i mean technically i could do it tomorrow 
but I have more baits to make tomorrow. I, I got uh, I got another batch that I gotta get done tomorrow. So I didn't know if I would have time to get it done tomorrow or not. So um, I just decided to run on out here. It ain't gonna hurt me to to get a shower ten minutes later than what I usually get. I mean. I'm one of those people, I show up to my job, I show up in the parking lot about 30 minutes early every night anyway, I just, I like to, I ain't gonna say, I like to show up super early, uh, you know, for brown nose, shit like that, I, I just show up early because you never know what's gonna happen, I mean, if I had a flat tire, if I, anything happens, I got plenty of time to do it, plus, um, uh, the main reason my dad you know i call him every night turn that off i call my dad every night at uh at 9 30 and talk to him from what 9 30 to 10 every single night so it's just a routine i do and you know it gives you know it gives us a chance i mean yeah we talk every day but you know you never know life's short so i'm gonna talk to him every day that i get a chance to uh and that's another reason I leave early. But anyway, let's check these right here out real quick. And we will wrap this video up. Let's see if they turn out like a glob. Oh, they still not bad, but you can see the... All right, be still. You can see the, the little... It done it more in a... Instead of being like how the crawl does, it's more of a long long spiral effect you know like right there it shows a lot right there you know it's like a spiral effect uh honestly that looks good to me because i will definitely uh i will definitely fish with them i mean hell yeah yeah like i say you can i'm hoping it shows up on it quit shaking so much Maybe it's showing up on the camera. It's got like little line spiral effects. But the C block does good more on your uh on your baits that has uh like crawls and stuff like that, you know, a little bit shorter and uh alright, this jerk bait probably gonna look like a hot mess. Actually it's it's not. It's a little different than I expected. You can you can see it more of a a blend. It's got a little more of a, a blend mixture. The back has, and that's, you can see the dark mixed in with it. That ain't terrible, I mean. I'll, uh, it's just funny though how it, how it blended in there. The back of these are more green and the belly of them are more, you know, that's, that's interesting. But anyway, if you were uh if you were curious to what these the three and a half inch little jerk baits look like are the actual seven inch uh ring worms and hopefully that uh hopefully this video satisfied your curiosity uh i was curious to how it was gonna look and you know i'm i can say that i'm satisfied with it uh personally my style i'd probably get more use out of the three and a half you know me personally than i would the the five and a quarter um uh, just because i'd use it more for like a trailer type stuff you know um anyway so hopefully oh i said i was going to show you hold on i keep on forgetting let's see this is the first color i did it's kind of like a a sparkly you know cobalt looking color but it's got blue gold copper black flake in it i mean it's kind of a neat little neat little color uh, and this worm this worm is, is the seven and it's made in the same and then of course i got see if you can see it this is the perch color where the the belly is more of a of a kind of like a light little watermelon color with red black and uh gold flake and then the back is a dark 
watermelon almost looks like a black but you know it's got a little bit of mixed flake in there it's kind of hard to hard to see it it's got like a little bit of greenish but it's a cool color i actually uh i actually had made that color for a a different order and uh well here's that color right here uh but and you can see it a little more in the ribbon tails but uh i actually made that color and why i had a little bit of plastic left over i just shot it to see what it would look like um uh, anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this video because i gotta go get a shower and go to work um like i say hopefully that you know showed you a little bit of what this mold looks like uh you know i'm gonna have some other molds coming in i just ordered them so it'll probably be another at least four or five weeks um I'm considering there's a, a couple other molds I'm looking at I'm considering but if I make up my mind I'll once everything comes in though you'll you'll be the uh, first to see and hopefully I'll have some other stuff situated by then um, I'll probably try to release another video sometime this week before the weekend you know uh, and show you a little more because this color was just something I threw together real quick but we we uh, we'll try to make like a a color that will do this bait justice i mean this bait will look good in like a you know a shad or even a uh it would probably look good in that perch color but something realistic you know uh like a bait fish style color but anyway um like subscribe hit the notification uh share it with your friends you can hit us up on uh tall tales custom tackles on instagram and on Facebook, you can hit me up on my personal account, Eric Gilly. Um, you know, I get a lot of messages and I try to respond to everybody. So um, thank you for watching. We will catch you next time.